Good morning. It's Saturday, the 30th of September, and uh, if you can hear that music, there's some kind of carnival going on over there, but I'm at a storage unit in Apple Valley, and um, I've been searching for months. You know, we're trying to get back into this camping thing and going riding, and personally for me, I love the family time. Getting away, being in a camper with your family for a few days, turning off the cell phones, getting away from work. I've had a lot of fun in the past 20 years with my two older kids. As I mentioned before, so the plan obviously is to try to get a couple quads before Christmas and then uh, put them under the tree for uh, my daughter and my son. Uh, as you saw in the last video, uh, we're starting to build the trailer and the camper. In fact, when I get done here now, I'm going to go back home, we're going to put the axle and the wheels on. And um, I don't have my welder at the house yet. so. We're going to spend a couple hours tinkering with it and then the fun for him today will be we're going to hook it up to the car and drag it around the neighborhood and just test it out and then next weekend we'll do some welding reinforcing stuff like that but the reason i'm making this video right now is i've been looking for months like i said for a good 50 for my for my boy and i didn't want to spend a lot of money um because i know they're thousands and thousands of dollars well i got a really good deal on this quad i found and i had to Go down the hill, I work in Big Bear, I'd go all the way to Rialto, pick it up, come home. It's been in my car for two days, going to work and back with me till I could get a storage unit, which is quite a challenge because a lot of stuff's full up here in the high desert. But I did get this little one here. Uh, it's uh, seven by 10. Now I am on the waiting list for a 10 by 17. But anyway, in the back of my car, this has been in here for two days, going up and down the hill. And uh, here she is. It's an 07 Polaris Predator 50. Super good shape, really clean. And the guy had a whole family of quads. And this was his youngest had outgrown this and they bumped her up to a 90 or something or whatever's next. But I'll yank her out of here. We'll check her out. So here she is. Um, you know, this has got a lot of cool safety features. These are removable blocks for when they're little. You can pull these out and when their legs get longer. It's got a kill switch tether, of course. It's got a throttle stop, so you can set the throttle at like zero to one mile an hour. It will not start unless the child pulls the brake. So a lot of cool safety features, which we use those Etons for Kaylee and Jacob when they were young, and they had all that stuff too. Uh, but I couldn't find any. I guess I don't know what the deal is. Back in 07, five, six, seven, eight, they were everywhere. I couldn't find any. So I found this one, like you can see it's clean. For being 10 years old i started and rode it at the guy's house and uh pretty happy with it checked it all out i'm gonna go through everything dump the fluids put a new chain on it and uh, grease everything torque everything get it all ready but for now she should be going to sleep in here for two months i'll come out here every couple weeks make sure she fires up get to know her a little bit got a brand new battery uh that the old owner put in there so that's pretty cool so yeah, we'll put her to sleep for a few months and now I gotta look for, I'm looking for like a 250, uh, TRX 250 for my daughter or maybe a, a Raptor 350, I'm not sure. She was a very accomplished rider when she quit riding at about 10. She'd been riding for several years and she could ride my motocross track out in my house and and uh, she was good. So and now she's 15 and full grown so she's, we'll work her back into it but she'll have a lot of fun. So. As you can tell, I'm an excited dad. I can't wait. So we'll put this one to sleep here. one I'm trying to get the other one by the end of the month and get that in here and, uh, 
still Saturday but it's 645 and and we've been working on this trailer uh, getting it all together got the spring hanger bracket stuff on there um, discovered a couple more bolt holes that don't line up I'm gonna see if I can loosen up and get some slack out of them but I measured it's square front to back the spring the spring hanger brackets are perfectly square so the axle is gonna ride true so I was concerned about that with all these weird bolt holes line not lining up that's three of them and I'll get my welder down here and I'm going to go through and just um, zip it all up where I think it needs to be reinforced. And So that'll be next weekend. We got this for free and my poor son brought it home. We had to buy a charger for it and we put the battery in there and it turns out it's no good. So yeah, it's I couldn't imagine getting that. Right, buddy? I couldn't imagine getting that when I was a kid and thinking, yeah, I'm going to ride it, you know, and then it's just a dud. It doesn't work. I tested the, the engine or the electric motor, the straight electric. doesn't do anything, so it's rotten. Something's in there. Bad. So that's why this morning was kind of important. So We'll just see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, for now, it's just a little play toy, huh, son? Hmm? I wish I can get pushed around on it. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe someday, huh? All right, well, we should wrap it up. Sun's going down. Yeah, dead. <laughs> That's it for today. So, next time we'll be doing the spring, uh, leaf springs, the axles. We'll flip the thing over. Well, actually, I'll zip it all together with the welder, go through all the nuts and bolts one more time, flip it over. And we'll tow it around, play with it, and then we'll start building. So, thanks for watching.